Hi, welcome to NJ's Broadcast Stadium. Today, we'll, today I have Colin Carpus and Theo Crosby, and they will be arguing arguing on who will win the ears this year. We'll start with Theo Crosby. What do you have to say? I think England is going to win the Euros this year because they're, they're stacked on the build-out. They're stacked on the build-out. They got Buyusaka, Bellingham, Harry Kane, and weapons like those, and I'm not even going to name all of them because some of them I forgot about, but it's really dangerous. Um... Harry Kane deserves a World Cup, I mean, a championship, never won one, and he's about to retire soon. Okay. He deserves one, but they got, like, young stars, Buyu Saka. They have a lot of good players on the bench. Their defense is okay, like, but they have Ramsdale and Nat, who was a super awesome goalkeeper. He's really good in net, so it's not like they can concede a lot of goals. They're going to make it to the Euros finals. And some of their players are pretty old, but now is now. And, yeah. All right, so I have a question. Like, what, what, if, the, what if those, like, players were, like, injured? Like, what would your team do to, like, approve that? And then we're going to move on to college. Well, if they got injured, it's not really that big of a deal. Because, like I said, they have a great bench. Their defense is okay. And it's not. It's really rare that five players are going to get injured in just two games. And also, you have three subs per game. So, it's not like it's going to be a big deal where we're out of subs and someone's like, really injured and the, and we can't sub them off, it's not going to be that big of a deal. All right. So now I'm moving on to Colin Carpus. What do you have to say? Oh, what's your team? Oh, it's England, and we have a 4, 2, 3, 1. All right. And what's your team, Colin Carpus? Oh, I'm rooting for Spain because their whole blue line is young. So is their midfield. They do have like one old player, but this Quetz in the middle is just overpowered. And also, their goalie is getting really hot. Like in the group stage, it saves crazy shots and only let in one goal. Okay. Also, like Theo said, their players are old, but like some, like Harry King, he's a little too old. He stays up there and he doesn't run back, so it's going to be easier to score. But uh, what do you have to say? What I'm saying is Harry Kane is a striker, so he doesn't really need to go back. That's my point. Second, Thibaut Courtois is actually pretty old, and he's one of my favorite goalies. One of the best in the world. But Ramsdale is one of the best in the world. And Thibaut Courtois, like, as we saw in the Champions League, he went in a goal, but it was off sides. But that's the thing about teams is that if the player is off sides, you could still save the ball. Like, okay. And also, we have so much pressure that it feels like they're off sides and it's an easy goal. Also, like, y'all guys have a lot of rookies, so in the future, y'all might win, but now it's. Not really looking good for Spain. I mean, the only players that I've heard of that Spain has that is really good is Landowski and Thibaut Courtois, but that's only a striker and a goalie. It's unlike unlike England where the defense the defense is the only thing that needs potential and needs to work on in the whole attack. Just out of pressure, they don't need anything. Also, like, it's really good. So, yeah, right. England's going to win. Right. I just wanted to say, it, there's a really big chance that England or Spain doesn't win at all because France and Italy are destroying the groups right now. Yeah. But England also destroying their group. And also, 
well, I mean, France. Spain are Killian and Mbappe. Killian, the if thing England is, loses, then they don't make it. But the thing and is, Killian and Mbappe. He only scored one goal yesterday. I mean, today. Well, but the game's still going. But what I'm saying is, England. They have a great goalie. The team that they just played against does not have a great goalie. So okay. like, and also, well, like I keep saying, it's the pressure. France and England are about the same. We got the pressure, and we can attack your defense and make your goalie have to do a lot of work. Right. So I'm gonna move on to Colin Carpus, and we'll see. But before you start, I'm gonna ask you the same question that I asked him. What? what Name your uh name your best players. I would say Pedri, Rodri, Biscuits, and Angola. Okay. Well, what what if those players got injured? How do you think your team would would you think your uh team would like practice extra um before a game, or do you think they'll just like train the rookies until the all stars get healed, and put the rookies out on the field? Which one do you think, or do you think something well, uh, different? It depends how bad the injury is. Like, is it like a really bad injury they can't play for the rest of the season or like a two-game injury where they can't play for two games in one game? Oh, uh, okay. So, I would, what if like if they can't play for a whole season? Then I would say they the whole team would have to work hard without them because it would be like a big, like, they would put the team down, but I think they could still like win the good. game. Yeah. yeah. They have other good players, but just like not as good. All right. And thank you for watching NJ's Broadcast Stadium, and we'll see you next time.